hello guys welcome my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you trigger how you can use trigger to display the message and also use if a statement to display the message if your condition is true or false you will be able to display the different message using SQL server right guys so we need to make a table then you will be able to use trigger right guys so I have made the table with the name of implies data in this table I have basically four records and I insert any other record then I can't show any message on the table section like th this okay for example I write the enter the name Michael and enter the designation of the Michael for example I write the digital marketer and I assign the salary and I run the query then you are able to see just a message I mean just a statement like one rows one row affected but I want to display the message after inserting the record in the table then I want to display the message so we need to make a trigger right guys how we can create a trigger that's very simple guys you need to just write create keyword and then use trigger keyword and then enter the trigger name for example I write the trigger name display message right and then you need to write the own keyword and then enter the table name the table name is implies data I copy the table name and paste here then you need to write the for insert right and then use as begin and between begin and end you will be able to use the message as you want to display on the screen after inserting the record then you will be able to display the message so I write just print single commas and I write your record has been saved in the database right then I use query and run the query command completed successfully then I insert the record in the table then we will be able to see this message okay so I select the query to display the record we have five records okay so I want to insert another record in the employee data table for example I write the name of the person mm, all right the name of the person chips okay and I assign the basically designation draw comma and I use the query select the query and click to execute button then you are able to see your record has been saved in the database the message has appeared with the help of trigger right without trigger you can't see this message or this text right guys now another thing you will be able to use trigger to check the condition okay for example I select the query to display the record in this table I have six record right but I wanna use condition then I mean check the condition you can uh, use trigger to check the condition if you are column name like uh, employee salary will store maximum or minimum salary okay for example I write the trigger create I just alter the trigger like this I copy the trigger and I just change the keyword alter trigger and then I use as after the as I use if statement and parenthesis 
in this parenthesis I use select keyword then I'm gonna use condition the column name implies salary so I use imply salary right this is a column name then I use from inserted this is a keyword guys after the parenthesis I use the condition for example less than greater than so I use the greater than one like okay then I display this message your record I mean uh, I change the record your amount exceeded please enter another record okay now after the display this message otherwise use else statement begin and and I use print keyword and I display the message your record has been saved in the database for example I wanna insert the record in the employee table and I assign the I mean store the value in the employee salary column maximum one lakh then we will be able to see this message otherwise I will store the less than one lakh amount in the table column names employee salary then we will be able to see this message right so I select the query and run the query okay now I use select statement and I wanna insert the record for example 5000 50,000 and I change the name Campbell PHP developer and I use this query and run the query now your amount exceeded please enter another record now guys you can see here okay this is I think 10,000 okay so guys I just write the one like because this is a uh, this amount um, I mean 50,000 so I change the condition and run the query again now I change the name voila, and I use same statement and on the query your record has been saved our condition is false then we will be able to see this message guys otherwise I will store the maximum value I mean 1 lakh then we will be able to see this message for example I use the 1 lakh uh, Laura. I enter the name semi run the query you are caught okay this is the IQL of the uh, this record okay but I'm gonna store one like 50,000 and change the name of the person Tony and execute the command your card has been I mean exceeded please enter another card I select the statement and execute then you are able to see whole record available in the database but I wanna display the message like this then the record will automatically remove but the employee ID which available the primary key identity it will count how I can do that guys just write simple keyword rollback transaction now if user will store maximum I mean out of the one leg or greater than the one leg amount then user 
will can't store the data in the database but I know the user will try to store the record in the database right how that's very simple I use this uh, same statement and execute now I use same statement I change the name I enter the name Billy and I select the statement and run the query now guys you can see uh, your amount exceeded please enter in the record I select the statement execute I can't show any record available in the database with the name of Billy right but I change the amount then we will be able to see 11 number will store I mean 11 number will count in the database why because I have tried one time to store the value in the table out of the condition right let's check it select and execute your record has been saved in the database select that statement and execute okay 12 sorry guys I have tried two time I think yeah, you can see it okay now I will try another time I can't store the data in the database and I wanna display I will display the message on the screen then I will count the ID automatically okay select and execute okay your amount exceeded please enter another record okay I change the amount and select query execute your record has been saved in the database I select the ex select a statement and execute now guys 14 two time counts okay okay guys so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching okay now another thing for example I wanna drop the trigger I wanna delete the trigger how I can do that just write the drop keyword trigger and enter the trigger name or write the trigger name display message okay and I wanna remove I mean I wanna store the value tell I my card I can't show any message on the screen so I use the insert query and execute okay now we can't show any message on the message box so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day